perhaps one of the biggest uh, biggest lessons that uh, we've learnt in all three of those areas that I mentioned, New Zealand, Europe and Australia, is that if we overuse our fungicides, we'll end up with resistance issues. And so a really important tool in the toolbox that we use as part of our integrated disease management strategies along with uh, genetics uh, along with cultural control will, will be lost um, and I think it's important to, to come and spread that message. So the first thing is whilst it's obviously nonsensical to say don't use fungicides it's incredibly uh, important to always ask yourself the question, do I need to apply this application? Um, because we know that fungicide resistance is encouraged within the pathogen population by more applications of fungicides. So going from one to two sprays or two to three sprays increases what we call the selection pressure on the population of the pathogen to develop resistance against those fungicides. So the more we can mix and diversify the tools we use, the better we will uh, fare. Probably the key uh, message is that when we're using them, to make sure that we're using two modes of action in the spray tank against the disease. The world of genetics is changing incredibly quickly and I think that there are some genetic advances that will help us with disease control. Our information, our knowledge of the pathogens, genetic weaknesses is increasing all of the time and so I think that it will be in genetics that we actually see breakthroughs, so that's not going to be tomorrow. But in the meantime, I think it's important for us to look after what we've got. So that means using the best genetic resistance we can lay our hands on that's still adapted for our part of the prairie or that's higher yielding for our part of the prairie. And productivity has still got to be maintained. Think about the conditions, the environment, and your proximity to sources of inoculum. Uh, can you do anything about those sources of inoculum? All the time looking to try and reduce disease pressure by as many different ways as you possibly can. Mm -hmm.